I can say without overstating it that this is one of the best experiences that I've ever had the luck to be part of. I feel like a little boy in a candy store. <laughs> conduct again an experiment uh, on sourdough. So what happened is that we've invited 15 bakers from different countries. There is seven professionals and eight home bakers that we discovered through our Quest for Sourdough project. Welcome to this second sourdough experiment that we are having here in the Center for Bread Flavor in Sangvit. I'm willing to participate in this experiment because I've always been fascinated with the kind of work that Puritos has been doing in bringing so many different and diverse bakers from across the world and doing stuff which is really amazing. To me that was an amazing opportunity to see what bread and sourdough really is because different people look at it from different sides whether it's just heritage or art or science and I was sure that it's a little bit of everything and so I wanted to see how it plays out here. Um, my reason for participating in the sourdough experiment was that I'm a scientist and I really want to find out what is happening with sourdough, what, what are the differences, where do they come from. Ten days ago the participants have received from us a bag of flour and we've asked to refresh their sourdough with that flour and take samples on the first day, the third day, the sixth day, the seventh day, and then the tenth day. And then, now that they are here, they have to bake breads with that sourdough that they have keeping refreshing with our flour. It's good to see uh, the deliberate attention to, to the details to, to do a great scientific study about evaluating what different sourdoughs uh, do and the same uh, recipe setup. So then what comes out of the oven is going to be really defined by the sourdoughs. Once these breads are baked, we are going to have a sensorial analysis to see if the breads are different in flavor and if we can split them up in different uh, flavor groups. The idea is that the untrained uh, judges, so here the baker, sort the breads into groups according to uh, their uh, aroma or taste similarities. Once they have sorted these breads into groups, they have to describe each group thanks to a descriptor. Sensorial analysis is a very complicated scientific discipline. I think it's uh, very important that what is the human perception of the different uh, breads that we are producing. The sensory analysis was quite difficult for me. I like to eat, <laughs> but I don't uh, quite explain with words uh, the taste. Is. So it was uh, an interesting experience, yes. The first finding is that there is a big differences between the 15 breads despite the fact that the sourdough was backslopped with the same flour, it seems that the sourdough remained uh, unique. Out of these 15 breads uh, that we will have, five of them will be selected and they will participate into an in vitro digestibility test in the University of Bari. And we hope that we have better insights on how that sourdough that is fed during 10 days with the same flour will create different taste profiles in a, a final bread. And last but not least, it will give us better insights if we do the in vitro on the digestibility of sourdough bread. The importance of uh, such an experiment is definitely to acquire new insights in uh, sourdough fermentation. Secondly, I think it's uh, very important to bring professional bakers together with home bakers and passionate people around uh, traditional fermentation and then see the synergies happening, one uh, looking to the other, learning from each other. I think this is the first time in my life that I will be baking along with professional sourdough bakers and therefore it will be a fabulous experience to figure out 
uh, how small differences in the culture can actually create something which is sensorially so different. The Sourdough Library is the most unique place within the bakery world. And what we have here is 107 different sourdoughs for the moment, coming from 21 countries. Ooh. I think that the quest for sourdough is an incredible initiative that lies at the intersection of intuition and science because it takes something that's very close to a legend, sourdough and its tradition all over the world, and it tries to preserve it and keep it for further generations in a way that would be understandable for the future. There's so much unknown about sourdough and so many myths, and I think the quest for sourdough helps just gaining more information and allows us then to look into the differences, where do they come from, are there even differences, is it just perceptions? There are things which are precious uh, in our civilization and it's an attempt to keep some of the precious things of our past alive, but not in a manner that it existed because the context is completely different now. So it is a modernist view of something which is purely traditional and I think it's very important that we save that for future generations.